Hi guys, so I will be showing you guys my kit today. This video is so long and I'm so sorry I tried to trim it down, but it just didn't work. So hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, first one, so I'm just gonna go over my kit really, really fast. So this is what half my kit comes in. Um, it's part of my train case and it just folds open like this and it comes out like that. So the first thing you'll see, I feel like I'm missing some things, but whatever. Um, the first things you'll see are my alcohol spray, um, my hand sanitizer. I get these containers from Dollar Tree. And then I'll have my Mac Fix Plus in here. I'll have my um, Scandinavia spray. I love this stuff. I am ordering the Ben Nye makeup sealer. So I'm gonna see how that one is. I have seen really, really good reviews. So I'm excited about using that. And then I just have an empty um, brush cleaner spray. This is the Cinema Secrets. I ordered a different one. I do really like this one, but um, I wanna try another one. So I'm gonna see how that one goes, but right now I do like this one. And then in here, I just keep my sharpener to sharpen down my pencils and stuff. I have a Bozica, um, Bozica White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I do keep this one just in case I run out of my, um, what's it called? My Scandinavian one, just because this one, you kind of have to do a little bit extra work. You have to make sure that all the little um, specks <laughs> are blended in. I have a pair of random scissors, I mean scissors. Um, what are these? Tweezers, I don't really use these ones too much. They're just in my kit randomly. Um, I have my ABH contour kit. This is in the shade light to medium. I have the Black Radiance kit, medium to dark. And I really do like this, clearly, because I have a little bit of a dent in it. I have my ABH cream contour in the shade Deep. I don't really use this one too much just because it blends out really badly. Like, you have to really, really work to blend it out. When you open it up, you see everything. Um, I keep my palettes right here, some palettes right here, my highlighters right here. So I just keep, this is my favorite highlighter. Um, it's actually an eyeshadow, but it's really, really pretty as a highlighter. This is the LA Colors um, Shimmering Shadow Thingy. It's very, very pretty. I want the other shades for my other clients that are a little bit lighter. I have my collab palette. This is from Sally's. I believe it was like maybe $10. Love it. I just keep this e.l.f. one in here. Um, this is just for like a just in case. I don't use it too much, clearly. I've had it for a while and it's still all in there. I keep my Becca um, shimmer thingy in here. Um, that's what it looks like. Very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I like it. It's very pretty. I use this one on my lighter clients. And then I have the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiance Flaked and Illuminating Bronzer. And this one's pretty. I like it too. This is my Modern Renaissance palette. It's very beat up, but I don't really use it that much. Um, I don't like this material on the packaging. It's just, it gets really dirty. And then I have my shade and light palette. So makeup has no rules. So I do like to use this. That was really ugly. But I do like to use this sometimes to like contour if I don't have the shade that I want. But I do reach in here mostly for the black shade and to sometimes set the eyelids. So then in here, um, so in here I just have a lot of more palettes. So this is the NYX one. This is for my colorful clients that want to have lots of fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like very, I'm amusing myself right now because I'm talking really ugly. But this is just the NYX palette. I really do like this one. Um, I don't really use all of them, but I do really love this yellow one. 
um, I used it today so I decided to put it in my kit I have the eye for daddy palette um, this is very pretty I've been using this a lot on my brides in here this is the profusion little brow kit thingy but I excuse me I keep burping but I ended up taking everything out um, and just putting a magnet sheet in here and I put all my singles in here along with the profusion brow sh shadows um, these are all coastal scents and then these two are Sephora and ABH eventually I am going to get a Z palette but in the meantime I'm just going to be using this and coastal scents will be your best friend um, I do I have like a love-hate relationship with these shadows they can either be very patchy are nice and blendable so it just depends on which one you get that's the purple shade that i used today but this one was a bit patchy but it could have been due to my base um but usually those ones are pretty good i just got this one today and i really wanted to put it into my kit this is the profusion cosmetics eyeshadow palette um i do have a lot of these colors but sometimes like I wanted to see how this one was um, sometimes I'll like keep digging I'll go from one palette to another and I just really wanted a palette that had all of the shades in the palette without having me go to a different palette so hopefully I really like this one but clearly I'm like addicted to these shades a lot of my palettes have these um, and then I just have the Morphe um, 35B palette this has all my colors in them if I need a little bit more than this one but just because I have the same colors doesn't mean like they'll blend the same. So yeah, I do like this one. And then this is my Jaclyn Hill um, palette. I do like this one. I like the shimmers in here and I like the browns. And if I really do need a dark brown, I'll typically use these ones. And then I just have like my lashes in here. I'm running very low, but I did put an order into AliExpress, so I'm just waiting for that package. But um, these are just my lashes. These are Cherry Blossom Lashes and then my Arda Wispy Lashes. And then this is my mirror from the Dollar Store. Um, it's very pretty. I don't want to blind you guys, but it looks like that in the front. It's really pretty. I didn't want like a basic, basic mirror, so I picked up that one. Um, and I thought it was just perfect for my personality. So in this clerk bag, I just keep all my lipsticks. I make sure to always bring a lip gloss from now on because one time I forgot it to bring it to a party. And of course, somebody needed it. But these are from the Dollar Tree. These are reusable wipes, heavy duty. Um, I decided to get them just to lay down when I'm going to like clients' houses or whatever, or hotels, just so I can lay my products down on here and not like on our, the surface. Um, Cause you know, you never know, it might make people mad. And just to clean my brushes. And then in here, I keep my sponges. I haven't really been using sponges too much, but sometimes I like to go over with it just to blend out certain things. And these are for my little to-go bag for clients. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got five of them. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I got five of them and it comes with eight. I could have just ordered them offline, but I couldn't remember. I just decided to pick them up when I was in the Dollar Tree. And I think I might do a video on like what you can get at the Dollar Tree for your kit. And then this is just a receipt book. I just recently bought this one. Um, I just really wanna be able to keep track of how much money I'm making, you know, clients and stuff. And this is what I put my dirty brushes in when I'm going home after I leave a client. And then I just have two random foundations in here. I have the HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation by Ulta. And then I have the Demi Matte Foundation by Ulta. And then I just have um, some lotion. I'm trying to like build my little miscellaneous um, little, I don't know what to call it, but sometimes a lot of makeup artists, they carry a bag 
specifically for like random things so like you never know tampons lotion um a client was asking for some gel and i didn't have it so i will be putting some gel in it to my kit for now on because you never know somebody might have a headache so you might want to bring some tylenol just little stuff like that you know you'll be known for the person the makeup artist oh she had this and i don't know that's how i think i just haven't got to it yet i'm trying to invest in like the nicer thing well, not the nicer things but the most important things first and this is my little cape that i use for clients um to not mess up their clothes i do want to get a taller one a longer one for clients that are like wearing pants that nicer pants that they're going to be wearing out for the day um the mother of the bride needed to put on her dress because we were running late and I could have just had a longer one and put that one on her. So I probably will be getting that one soon as well. And then in here, I call this my toolbox. I just got these from the Dollar, the Dollar Tree. Um, they have little dividers in here, but they fit all of my like essentials. So in here, I just have like my, um, my eyelash curler, my lash glue. This is my favorite lash glue. This is the I Envy, the white one. By kiss I have some razors in here I have some um, mints some duo lash glue that duo lash glue is for like emergencies I really really like the kiss lash glue so I don't use that one too much um, I have some clips in here I have a powder puff for my finger like when I need to go back and touch up on stuff um, let me just turn it over I have these little um, sponges for like problem areas that need to be covered um i keep these these are little eyeshadow pads or whatever i keep these in my kit um because i do not like touching lips if i ever need to like go back and like blend in some lipstick i have these this is what they are for i do not use my brushes on people's lips i will not touch your lips i'm sorry it's just one of those things that i just don't like i will never touch um <laughs> so yeah and then i have like a little pair of scissors and some tweezers in there And then in here, I just keep my disposables. So I have my sponges, I have some Q-tips, I have some lip wands, some mascara ones, and then I have some cotton pad, cotton rounds. So this little canister I use for my dirty brushes, um, clearly, because all my dirty brushes are in here. I just had a client, so this is why they're all in here like this. Um, I'll, if I have a bigger party, then I won't use as many brushes on one person but since i just had one client today i just went ham and just used a whole bunch of brushes but you do not need to use all these brushes on one client um and this little this is actually a pencil holder but this is from dollar tree and then this is my brush belt this has my clean brushes in here i need to clean this off um this is my brush belt it has all my brushes this is the morphe 30 brush pro set i believe it's called the pro set the bro pro brush set but it has it comes with 30 brushes and then i just added some of my brushes um my old brush kit was just like it was really bad it was it was nasty um the brushes were falling off the handle i use a lot of the wet and wild um brushes and those um the paint was coming off so i just let us this hello I decided to update my brushes and my brush belt and just get some new brushes as well as a brush belt. And here's my spatula for um, digging out stuff. So yeah, that's what's in there. And then for cleaning purposes, I like for cleaning my brushes and stuff, I keep antibacterial soap. I'll use this to clean my... Um, What's that? My sponges, brushes, um, even to sometimes deep clean clean my palettes, like the out exterior of my palette. Like I'll just take a paper towel and some water and antibacterial soap. And I'll just clean it. Um, and I also clean my brushes with alcohol as well. Like I'll just spray some after I clean them. This, this is my new baby. <laughs> I got this from Amazon. It's really, really nice. It's really cute. Really love it. Um, so the first zipper, where is it? What the heck? Where is it? Oh 
So it opens up and it, as soon as you open it up, you see my Ben Nye palettes. These are my foundation palettes. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, so this is the Essential palette, shade Essential. These are just the for the fair girls. And then this is for like um, just a few shades for women of color. But I would probably get this palette if you have majority fair girls. If you live in a area where it's more lighter skinned girls, then I would definitely get this palette. Um, I decided, decided to get it just because if I ever wanted to pick up a client that had fair skin or they had a fair party, I would be able to cater to them. And then I just have my olive brown palette um, by Ben Nye. And I use this one the most um, because my clientele is more uh, women of color. Um, and I just use this palette to contour, just for everything. I love, love, love this palette. And I also keep, um, I also keep like my Smashbox um, little eyeshadow palette in here, my Naked Basics palette. And then I also keep my little Stila one. I'm just gonna show you the palettes that, you know, you may not know. This is the Stila palette. Um, it's the Perfect Me, Perfect Hue palette. And I just use this one for the blushes. I love this blush on like brides and stuff. Love it, love it, love it. And here I just keep like my foundations and stuff. So I have the BH Cosmetics, um, BH Cosmetics foundation. I have the darkest, no, this is not the darkest one. Yes, this is actually is the darkest one. This is the darkest foundation. It's a bit orange. Um, but I just really wanted to try it out. So a lot of times if I have never tried some, something out and I wanna put it in my kit, I'll try it out, Use buy a shade that's around my skin tone and I'll try it out to see if I like it. I haven't tried it out yet, but I've heard good things. And I just have um, two lighter shades because not every bride would want like a very matte foundation. And I'm not a big fan with being, with, with that being said, I'm not a big fan of the Ben Nye ones just because I don't really like those on bride. It's brides, it's just too matte. And for brides, I want like a nice glowy finish and that just doesn't provide that from my matte palette. Um, I do like it for like birthdays and stuff like that. But for brides, I don't really like that foundation palette. Um, and I just have the shades Mocha, uh, fair golden and ivory so those are the three shades i have for my kit um i have two concealers in here i by nyx these are the um full coverage concealers i have porcelain and tan and then i have three of the la girl pro coverage um foundations in the shade white, in the shade bronze, and in the shade dark chocolate. I love these foundations. They look so beautiful on clients. Um, I used it today for the first time on a client, and I also really, really loved it. Um, I think I'm going to be buying more of these for my kit. I think this is just gonna be the second foundation that I have in my kit. I just really like it. Um, it's just bomb. So then these are four other concealers. So these these two are the NYX Gotcha Covered um, Hydrofuge Waterproof Concealers. And I have the shade Sand and I have the shade Deep. Two of the BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro Concealers in the shade 121 and White Corrector. So um, if I need to lighten up this concealer, I can, which I probably would be have to. And then here I just keep my powders. So I have all three of the black opal powders. I have light, medium, and dark. I have one of the It um, Bye Bye Breakout for oily, acne prone skin. I definitely wouldn't use this to set foundation just because it comes off a little ashy. I have the Black Radiance Press Powder 
in the shade creamy beige i do like these i want more of these more of these in my kit to contour and to even just set foundation um and to add a little bit more coverage but i definitely would depot these just because they just take up a lot of space sorry they just take up a lot of space and i can just literally depot this and put it in a little magnetic magnetic um palette and moving on to my face my skincare um these are the two first aid beauty moisturizer that i have in my kit i have the ultra repair cream and i have the daily face cream oil free one this is my kiko toner for oily skin I have a sample of the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. It has a really nice glow to it. And the shade Nude Glow. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I have a pre, my pre comes balm for like cleaning off foundation by Dermalogica. It takes everything off. I have the Mar Mar Mario Badescu um, Vitamin C Serum. I love this stuff. This is the Dr. Bryant. Um, it's upside down. <laughs> the Dr. Bryant No More Baggage um, little sample. Um, I have the Tarte Maracuja Oil. This is the stuff that I put in my ABH kit when I do want to use it. My ABH contour palette, excuse me. And then I have the Carmax. <laughs> I have Carmax in here for lips. I do want to just get some basic Vaseline or something just because my sister is allergic to the stuff. So I feel like if she's allergic, there's somebody out there else, somebody else out there that is allergic to Carmax as well. So you never know. Okay, I got the alcohol free toner by Neutrogena. Um, one of my beauty friends, actually not a beauty friend, um, my a hairdresser I know, she and she's really into skincare. She recommended this for my kits, so I decided just to try it out. And here I keep my um my what's the what are these called? My primers. So I have the um hangover primer, I have the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer, I have this Stilo One Set Illuminator Primer. I, this is not a primer it's a highlighter but I like to use this underneath foundation just to give like a natural beautiful glow um, and this is in the shade bronze this is a urban decay um, eyeshadow potion I sometimes use this if somebody doesn't have like a lot of brows I'll put this on before I put on brow product I have my Mali perfect prep neutralizing prime primer you guys can see it and this is one of my favorites I usually reach for this stuff for oily skin this is um Sephora beauty amplifier and then in here I just keep like my eyebrow products and I have like a random um, gel liner by Palladio. Um, I have the Elf pomade, I have an ADH pomade, and I have um, a Cabral pomade, all in like dark browns. Um, I keep an Elf liner. I decided to pick this one up today, so I'm pretty sure it's like either a dollar or three. But I just wanted to try it out. I thought I can't remember if I liked it or not, but I'm just gonna throw it in my kit. Um, I have the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium. I use this stuff for my glitters. I have two of the Gabri Gabriella liners um, from the beauty supply store um, in the shade black and dark brown. I have a Kiss Long Lasting Gel Eyeliner. I really don't like this on like um glitters and stuff so that's why i ended up getting this elf one i have this nyx um studio liquid liner it's in like brown 
This is my RCMA, the original no color powder. I really like this, it's very finely milled. It sets the foundation beautifully. It's just really nice. It's a nice powder to have. You can get this off of CameraReadyCosmetics.com. I keep my um, business cards in here, but I actually am about to put in my new ones. Um, business cards today, I'm perfectly fine with you guys seeing my number on here just because this is my business number, so I really don't care if you guys call it. Um, but yeah, this is my... Actually, let me, yeah, this is my, <laughs> I was debating if I want you guys to see it, but you guys, if you go on my Instagram, you'll be able to see it anyway. So yeah, this is just my business cards. It's really cute. There's my Gmail, my, um, just cute little information. I decided to take my logo off. I wanted people to see my face and then make one of the looks that I have done pretty, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to put those in there. I keep some glitters in here. My Instagram friend, she makes glitters I believe no she sells glitters on her website and I'll try to find it so I can link it down below this glitter is from it's called I is me New York and I get this from my local beauty supply store I'm actually gonna go back and get some more just because they're really really inexpensive and they're really pretty excuse that noise um I live okay <laughs> this is the Ulta Beauty tinted eye primer I really love this eye primer it's really really pretty I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys just so you guys know I'm not lying um look how pretty that is like look how pretty that is you just like blend it out and you can put some eyeshadow over that this is perfect for brides I'm definitely going to be using this for my brides um, I completely forgot about it and I when I was going through my personal stuff I was like oh my gosh I want this in my kit so I just put it in my kit yesterday so in here I just have my NACAC palette I really use this for like when people don't really like blush but blush brings everything together so this is what I use this for because it's not too pigmented it's still like blush but it's like barely there but I use this a lot on people that are not a big fan of blush I have a Bare Minerals blush. This is a, like a loose blush. It's very pretty. I have two Tarte blushes. These are for like fair girls. And then I have a Soap and Glory Peach Party, party blush. So then up here, I just keep like my eyebrow pencils. I have um, LA Colors pencils. I have a Profusion eyebrow pencil and I have two Kiss pencils. I have two of the NYX white, what are these? Eyeliners. I can't see. Two of the white eyeliners. This is like a pearl one, like has a little bit of shimmer and then I have the matte one. And then I just have this random Kiss Brown. I thought this was like an eyebrow pencil when I bought it, but it actually has shimmer in it, so I can't use this on brows. <laughs> I have a pair of tweezers again. I have three of the LA Girl um, Pro Conceal Correctors. I have some lip pencils in here, all from the Dollar, not the Dollar Tree, all from the beauty supply store for like $149. Um, I always pick the ones up that are 149 I don't really go over too much with lip pencils. And then I have two mascaras. I keep the Troublemaker mascara for people that are just like birthdays and stuff that are not going to be crying or anything. And then I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex um, Waterproof Mascara. I keep all my LA Pro Girl concealers up here. So Porcelain, Medium Beige, all Almond. Cool tan, chestnut, fawn, toffee. Almond is like a pale shade, but it's like really pink. So I'm not too big on that one. And then I just have a pair of scissors. And then... So right now I'm just about to show you my mixing palette. But I just wanted to come on really quick just to say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye guys. Mwah.